Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna Camille. I make multiple types of content. I do any type of thing I just feel like doing, and that's just how this whole YouTube journey has been going. Today I'll be doing a skincare routine because. I just enjoy watching people's skincare routines and just looking at what different products people use and see if I can add that to my own, you know, skincare routine. But I just got out the shower and excuse my head. I'm about to wash it in a couple of days. Hi, you guys. Watch that couple minutes. Yay. But I'm about to wash my head in a little bit. And the first thing I do with my skincare routine is wash my face. Um, a lot of people use the Foreo. This is probably the most off brandest version of Foreo. I got at TJ Maxx for $12. It's called the Pop, but hey, it works good for me. And pretty much how I use it is I just take this African black soap and I just wet the black soap, and then just scrub this up here and rub it all together so that way. You know, my skin gets really clean. If you don't know, African black soap does help, especially when you have acne prone skin like I do. It just helps the complexion, helps get rid of bumps. It does have a tendency to dry your skin out, so you have to make sure you do moisturize your skin very well when you use this. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and let me go out. It doesn't, well, I probably should take my glasses off, but it's not really like a foamy one. I mean, it foams up. As I said, it's not really a foamy one. And it foams up really good. But, so, it is foaming, as you can see now. It's foaming today. The, it foams, well, it, then again, it, depending on how much it foams, depends on how much water you add to your soap. But sometimes if I don't add a whole lot of water, it doesn't foam a lot. But if I do add a lot of water, like I did today, it will foam up a whole bunch as you can see but the next products i will just be doing is i'll just be taking a rag and when i'll wipe my face off and i'll just be using this famous it's the witch hazel that pretty much everyone uses and then after that i will just be going in with my mario but desk sorry if i'm looking this way I'm looking in the mirror as well as trying to get my products out. But I'll use the Mario Badescu skincare. This is a facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. And all these products you can get off Amazon pretty much. That's where I mostly get my stuff from because I just love Amazon and it ships very fast. Um, I always, I also, well, yeah, always too. I always also also always use the pons dry skin cream this is the one i use at night that's why it has the word vitamin on top because i did add some other essential oils such as tea tree and um what did I peppermint oil rose shit oil no not rose shit um, i think i added almond oil to it but i added oil snow so that's just my nighttime one and for the daytime, I just use the regular ponds by itself with nothing else added to it. And that's how you, that's pretty much the only difference between my nightcare routine and my skin and my nighttime and my morning time routine. Uh, that's pretty much the only difference. I do the same thing because I don't use like a whole bunch of products and stuff like that because I feel like but I feel like a lot of people, at least sometimes people that I watch, they have the all these products, but they do the same thing. So what they do is they have all these products to do the same thing. I rather have pure products to do different things than have a whole bunch of products, and it literally do the same thing. Also. If you know me, I'm very lazy when it comes to skincare. I do not wash my face every day. I do not wash my face every night. Um, but yeah, and if you're wondering why my skin is breaking out, my skin is breaking out because I've seen your pictures. Not because I've seen your pictures, but because I try to do my own makeup. And then um, my makeup, it looked okay. It was my first time actually trying to do my own makeup. And um, 
dust and it's just breaking out now because of the makeup. Now I'm not mad about it, but it's just it's gonna get me. It shows my camera. That's exactly why my skin is breaking out pretty bad. But I am going to um, start going back and getting my facials regularly. So that way I can just get rid of the hyperpigmentation on my skin as well as some of the bumps and my acne stuff and actually get like a set in stone skincare routine that I know will work. And this skincare routine has really been working for me. But sometimes my skin is just like, you know, we just need different products and stuff. And that's just pretty much what I'm trying to do is really like play around with my skin and figure out what my skin really likes and what it doesn't really like. But I know for sure, for sure, my skin absolutely loves, um, what is it called? The Drunk Elephant Brand Cleanser. I know my skin loves that. And um, because I had some as a sampler for my birthday, and like I said, my skin feels so good after that. Um, but it is a little on the more expensive side. And like I said, I'm not really big into skincare, so I mostly use pretty much drugstore products or stuff you can pretty much find at the beauty supply store. Because you can find the witch haven and stuff at the beauty supply store, and the rest of it's pretty much from a drugstore. And like I said, the pop from TJ Maxx. But that's what I do. And I kind of let that sit in for a little bit. But the main, main, main thing that is the most important to me as far as my skincare routine would have to be my lip gloss. I don't know if you're like me or not, but I love lip gloss. I have my lip gloss 24 7. I don't have lip gloss. I'm mad about it. That's one thing I will get mad about. Is my lip gloss where i'm just gonna go get my lip gloss right now because i actually left it in my room let's in my purse but yeah so my favorite lip gloss combination i don't just wear one i actually wear two because i feel like it gives you like the best shiny glossy type look <laughs> hey noah say hey hey buddy say hey see i just turned one so yeah, I'm a big boy now. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, okay, I'm done with that. But so my favorite lip gloss combination is again a drugstore products slash beauty store products. And it is the Vaseline Lip Therapy Advanced Healing. And I use this just to pretty much align my lips and kind of as a base. And then I use the Broadway Ultra Lip Mint Oil Lip Gloss as for the shine. And this is the best lip combination, y'all. Why should I put it on, y'all? I'm really putting it on. It's really the best lip combination. I don't care what nobody say. It really is, though. Because... It's just so good. And it's shiny. And I put the Vaseline first so that way I make sure that I'm still like moisturizing my lips good and stuff because you can put on like a lot of lips, glosses and stuff and your lips will be like really sticky. If you put Vaseline on first, it won't be as sticky because it's still like moisturized. It's moisturized with the stickiness. It's not as sticky. Sticky is going to be sticky because some lip glosses just are really sticky. But it won't be as sticky. As from testing out, you know, different basic products. That's what I've come to know and to love. So. Yeah, my skincare routine is very quick and simple. Like I said, I'm very lazy when it comes to skincare. I'm also very lazy when it comes to doing my hair as well. Hence the last day I washed it under bay, whether I want to just go and get it done so I can braise again because I honestly love waking up and not having to do my hair 
and then also be growing and stuff. I do. I have periods where I like honestly and truthfully, I love doing my hair. Like I do my hair every day. I love doing it. I wake up every day. Oh, I can't wait to do my hair. And this is not even turning, but. I know I hurt my nails this morning, y'all. I'm sorry. That's why I'm not really trying to use my phone in my right hand. But yeah, I have this piece where I do like to just wake up and do my hair every morning. You know, I have that motivation to do my hair. But like when I have certain periods of time, especially in the hot, hot, hot times and the cold, cold, cold times, like I do not want to do my hair because my hair does take better when it's wet like drenched wet and it's just too much for me like I go through this like periods where I'm really really tired of my hair and ever since I've already been in quarantine I haven't really had the like drive to really do my hair and of course for like videos or whatever but not just like oh my god I just want to do my hair like because no, I'm not going anywhere so I didn't really feel the need to really get dressed up or hurry up and do my hair, you know. But I do let my mom just like braid it and I'll keep it in braids for literally like three weeks. And I love it, it's really the best time ever. For one, it's free. Two, I wake up and I don't have to do my hair. And three, honestly don't have to worry about nobody seeing my head because I don't go nowhere. And also, if I do go somewhere, I can literally just put a hat on. And I'm Gucci. Like, that's the good life when you don't have to do your hair. At least it is for me. Don't get me wrong, I love having thick hair. A lot of people should say, well, why don't you cut it or whatever? I like having long, thick, thick, long hair. My hair goal is to get it like right here. And exactly what's the issue right there, I'm going to cut it again and donate it to the kids with cancer. And that's why I'm not. I'm gonna dye my hair permanently or anything like that. I like cutting. Of course, trims are a necessity for me, but I'm not gonna dye it or anything like that because I wanna cut it off and donate it to the kids with cancer because I feel like if I can donate my hair, then if I'm able to. You know, have no problems and just donate my hair and stuff. I feel like it's kind of like selfish of me not to donate my hair because they can't. It's not like they don't want to, it's just they can't. So I feel like it's like kind of a necessity, not a necessity, but I feel like it's really selfish of me not to even think about others when they can do things that they want to do. When I can grow hair, my, my hair can literally grow back. It's just hair, it can grow back. So that is. My future plans with my hair so like I said once again I want to get it pretty long so that I can cut it you know and donate it I've never donated my hair before but I feel like I just feel so much better donating my hair and keeping it long and just putting it in protective styles so yeah but if you have got to the end of this video please do not forget to like comment and share also don't forget also don't forget to subscribe to my channel um i just want to tell you guys thank you for watching and if you haven't gotten this far to the video comment down below mm. yes sir <laughs> comment down below yes sir down below and you may get a shout out in my next video so mm. Just me, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.